Hello engineers, welcome to Engineer Brandon's Tools. In this video, we are going to build a temperature sensor using a PIC16 F877A microcontroller on Proteus while writing the code on Micro C Pro for PIC compiler. So, in this project, we're gonna need a PIC16 F877A microcontroller, we're gonna need a liquid crystal display, we're gonna need an LM35 temperature sensor in order to read the temperature and give the value to the microcontroller and the LCD is gonna write the temperature being measured by the microcontroller so we're gonna write our code on micro C Pro for Peak compiler so you can post this video and draw this schematic on Proteus software so to write our code we're gonna create a new project We're gonna use a PIC16 F877A microcontroller in the list of microcontrollers. So you can notice that there are other different types of microcontrollers. So we're gonna rename our project. We're gonna choose the directory where we're gonna save our project. And we're gonna set, we're gonna allow the clock frequency at 8 megahertz. So we're gonna start our code. So I'm gonna minimize this code. So we're gonna give the interconnections between the liquid crystal display and the microcontroller. So we're gonna say S bit LCD register select at RB0 bit. So it simply means the register select RS is connected to RB0 of the microcontroller. So we're gonna copy this and do the same for the other pins of the LCD and microcontroller. So you notice that in this example, we use both pins D4 to D7 of the liquid crystal display. So the liquid crystal display is working in 4-bit mode and not in 8-bit mode. So we're gonna set the LCD directions with the microcontroller. So S-bit LCD register select direction add is B zero bit so we're gonna copy this and do it and do it the same for the other pins of the LCD and microcontroller so we're gonna define our variables I'm gonna define the variable temperature as float I'm gonna define the variable display temp as float and I'm equally gonna define the variable temp as character so we're gonna go to our main function and write our code so void main always remember to indent so we're gonna define all port b pins as being output so to do that we're gonna say trees b equals 0x00 in hexadecimal and we're equally gonna define port a zero as input because it reads the input from the lm35 temperature sensor so we're gonna define this pin ra0 as input so to do that we're gonna say trees a 0x0f sorry in hexadecimal port a0 as input so 
so we're gonna define our liquid crystal display so to do this we're gonna say lcd init We're gonna initialize our analog to digital converter. We're gonna say ADC init. So we're gonna send commands to the LCD. LCD command. LCD clear so this command simply means we should clear the LCD we're gonna send another command to the LCD so we're gonna say LCD cursor of this command simply means you should turn off the cursor and we're gonna send a message to the LCD we're gonna say LCD out we're gonna send it at position 1 3 of our LCD that is at row 1 column 3 of our LCD so we're gonna write the message as temperature And we're gonna send another message to the LCD at position 2 4 that is row 2 column 4 and the message is gonna be sensor so we're gonna delay the messages for a period of two seconds so two seconds in milliseconds is two thousand milliseconds okay so we're gonna clear the LCD once more after the message has been delivered we're gonna clear the LCD LCD clear And we're gonna turn the cursor off. So we're gonna write, we're gonna open a while loop in order for our code to run inside. And this code is a code that is gonna read the temperature from the LM35 sensor. So we're gonna open an infinite loop. So you're gonna read the analog value and store in the and store it in the variable name temperature. So analog value ADC read read from RA0 pin. And store in the variable name temperature so we're gonna convert the float to string display temp and temp so we're gonna send a command so we're gonna So we're gonna send a message to the LCD, LCD out, row 1, column 3, we're gonna send a message temperature, we're gonna give the value display temp as temperature 
multiply by 50 multiply by 10 divided by 1023 so the LM35 reads the value temperature and it's converted into display temp using this calculation so here we're gonna send a message to the LCD LCD out at position 2 4 R trim R trim temp so we're gonna send another message to the LCD LCD out at position 2 8 that is row 2 column 8 and the message is gonna be C that is C for Celsius the measured temperature in Celsius and we're gonna set a delay in milliseconds 500 milliseconds so this delay simply means the microcontroller reads after every 500 milliseconds the value of the temperature given by the LM35 temperature sensor so we're gonna run this code so we're gonna run this code we notice that oh we're gonna run this code and we're gonna notice that there are some errors like here which we have undeclared identifier lcd init in expression so this simply means the compiler does not recognize this all of these lines on the line the compiler does not recognize them in order for the compiler to recognize them you need to include some libraries so to do that we're gonna go to view library manager so the libraries which we're gonna going to include we're gonna include the ADC analog to digital converter we're gonna include the conversions we're gonna include C string or C string is already included we're gonna include the LCD and we're gonna run this okay we notice that it says finish successfully means the project has been run and compiled successfully if we run this again so the hex file has been generated so we're gonna load this hex file into our pic 16 f 877 microcontroller so we're gonna double click another way of loading we're gonna right click edit properties so we have here program file so we have here the hex file tempsense.hex we're gonna double click and remember before the beginning of the code i ask you to lift the frequency at 8 megahertz so we're gonna change the microcontroller frequency so that it should be 8 megahertz as a code so that the code and the simulation should be able to synchronize so we're gonna click on ok and we're gonna run our simulation so here is the first message that was written in the code so we notice that we have the temperature here 12 degrees which is the same as that of measured in the by the lm35 so if we increase the temperature here we have 16 degrees we have 16 degrees so if we vary the temperature we're gonna have the same reading here from the lcd so let's reduce the temperature so we have 17 degrees we have 17 degrees so thank you for watching my video please don't forget to like share and subscribe please share my videos to your friends in other engineering schools thank you